Ladies and gentlemen, as a business owner, I greatly value efforts to boost entrepreneurship. I am chairman of Euro Chambers, the European Association of Chambers of, of Commerce and Industry. We are 45, not only the 27. I'm also president of the Saarland Regional Chamber of Commerce, so I, I see the value of efforts to boost entrepreneurship at both European and very important regional level. The European Commission has launched various actions in recent years to boost entrepreneurship. The Committee of the Regions some years ago created the European Entrepreneurial Region, EER and created an award scheme. I will be honest and tell you that Eurochamber was very skeptical at the time. Why do we need another entrepreneurial award scheme? But anyway, we offered our support and have now revised our position. The EER scheme seems to be really helping regions and cities to implement innovative political strategies to foster entrepreneurship and boost SMEs. We are now fans of the EER and have a representative on the jury panel. The winners of the EER award offer valuable examples of how to support SMEs, startups, entrepreneurship and innovation at reg regional level. The cross fertilization between the award winning regions and cities also seems to be high beneficial. I believe that entrepreneurship and innovation should be encouraged from a very young age. They should be integral to education preschool onwards. This is not about teaching accounting marketing or writing business plans. It's about encouraging children to think outside the box, to innovate, to pursue their dreams, to be independent, yet able to collaborate effectively and to be creative. Entrepreneurs can and must play a direct role in such entrepreneurship education. For example, they can take part in sessions at schools to inspire students to pursue an entrepreneurial career. They can also offer apprenticeship to young, to really young adults. Statistics indicate that a significant proportion of apprentices go on to create their own business. We often talk about entrepreneurs needing access to finance, access to markets, or access to resources. But entrepreneurs also need access to other entrepreneurs. That is why Eurochambers is a strong supporter for the Erasmus for Young Entrepreneurs program. This scheme allows now or aspiring entrepreneurs to learn from experienced ones who in turn gain fresh, innovative ideas and new opportunities to grow. This program has proved to be successful and there's a very high demand across much Europe. Its impact, however, could be even greater. For example, the program could be further developed in third countries and towards migrants. That is why we are working with the Commission and the European Parliament to expand Erasmus for young entrepreneurs. Also, not only Erasmus for the students. I just mentioned access to market, and that is a key issue for European entrepreneurs. That is why we lobby intensively for a fully functioning single market for products, for services, for people, for capital, for online and offline. 
an innovative startup from Denmark should be able to distribute its products as easily to a client in Prague as to one in Copenhagen. A scale-up from Poland should be able to attract investors from Ireland as easily as it can from Warsaw. Yet too many obstacles remain in place. They must be broken down. Public administrations at national and regional local level must commit to the effective and coherent implementation of existing single market legislation. Otherwise, it does not matter how innovative, forward-looking or sustainable a business is. It won't be able to fully exploit its potential if it can't reach a wide range of clients. Given SFME's significant socio-economic contribution, the question arises is, are we doing enough? I think this is the wrong question. We should be asking, are we doing well enough? Let me be clear. Helping SMEs is a matter of policymakers and public administrations doing better, not more. This means focusing on the improvement and delivery of the existing SME support tools and services, rather than on creating new ones. And what it needs, above all, is genuine progress towards the completion of the single market. It may seem obvious, but let us not forget that policymakers and public administrations do not create jobs and growth. Businesses do. But policymakers have a key role to play in allowing entrepreneurs to achieve their dreams. And the more entrepreneurs who manage to achieve their dreams in Europe and create successful businesses, the better is it for all of us. Thank you for your attention.